today I'm going to show you how to make a Michael Jackson glove. So you're going to start and take two rubber bands, put it like that, two rubber bands, two rubber bands, and two rubber bands. And then you're going to make one of these, you can see on my other videos how to make one of these. Or you can go on Made by Mommy how to make one of those on their Flappy Bird. You you can also go on Die Mommy and look up how to make these for the wings on her Flappy Bird tutorial. It's kind of the same thing, but you just keep doing, putting them on that and then that on that. But I just want to show you how to make one of these. So you'll know if you don't know what this is. So you go one, two, three. Do it three times, it's gonna make four loops. Put two on, two rubber bands on. Put it like right next to that one. And take it and put it over. Take all of those rubber bands, hold it on anything. So it will still stay in grip if it falls off. And push it on. It's like you just like push that red rubber band on. I'll be right back. It's supposed to come out like this. And you just put it on the loom. If you can't find it on Made by Mommy or Die Mommy's or Die Mommy's Flappy Bird, I just showed you how to make it, so it will be easier. So, you're just going to put make four of them. I'm, I make them all the time. They're really fun to make. And in my other tutorials, I'm going to make more tutorials, so t stay in touch. But, but this is the one that I love. And I love, I love, I love. In my kindergarten, um, people loved Michael Jackson, so I just wanted to make a replica of the Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson glove. So, I'm making another one, because one, two... Put around four times. Two. Just put it on. And I'm just gonna do that. They're really fun to make. I'm gonna make a triple. It's called a triple double, um, double capping band bracelet, and I made it up. You can also go on Olivia's tutorials, Olivia's tutorials and crafts, and um, and she has the candy, the candy swirl bracelet or something. I don't know what it's called, but she has a tutorial on this candy one. So just look up her, um, and that's what. And, so you can skip this part, but I just want to tell you some information so you will have more rubber band fun. I did it. So, you're going to bring the two rubber bands that were at the bottom, and they're going to flap down. So, I want to just show you. You want to like straighten them out so they're not together. You're going to take 
a rubber band from those from and take two more rubber bands. And this is like all you have to do and this is the easy kind of what I'm trying to do right now. It's a charm and I do a thing that's called the charm bracelet bracelet. Um and I show you how to make like how to put charms on your bracelet. You can make it a inverted hex fish tail. Inverted hex a fish tail. Yeah. And, and or a another inverted hex fish tail, a fish tail, or an inverted fish tail, or a just regular other bracelet. So that's what it looks like. And you're just gonna take the two bottom one, the two bottom ones, and bring it to the top. Two bottom ones. Bring it to the top. Two bottom ones, bring it to the top. And then again, the two bottom ones. The two bottom ones, and bring it to the top. So it's going to look like that. So you're going to start. Now you're going to end your bracelet by just taking all your rubber bands and bringing them over. I take two at a time because I don't want to mess up. Because you can mess up by taking all of the rubber bands. You want to take them over until there's one rubber band on each. So you just want to take it over until there's one on each hook. I mean, not hook, um, peg. Now this is what mine looks like. And now you just take another rubber, you're just going to take your crochet or rainbow loom. I used a crochet for this one. If you were wondering where my rainbow loom was, but I just didn't, I just didn't want to use it because it was a bad example for this charm and it's gonna come like this big blob but you're gonna have those three right there and they're supposed to be hurdles this is not all you do So if you see, there's going to be one, two, one, two. That's supposed to be where you take your two. You're going to take, if you want, you can make a, and I know how to make the signatures with the rubber bands, but I'm not doing that in this video. You're going to take two rubber bands, put it on the peg, and push these on. Or you can just take your other hook. If you have two hooks, I have two hooks. You don't need two hooks, but you can have two hooks. But you just take these two, pass them on, take them all, they're all, they're under all of these. Take it, bring it right there. You can see right there. Take two more rubber bands. And if you want. And this one goes along with my figurine. For Michael Jackson. But this is just the glove. I'll show you how to make the figurine. Without the glove. But this is just the glove. And I'll show you in one video how to attach it. I, I don't know how to attach it right now, 
but I'll figure out a way. So I'm having it this long, but you can have it way longer, but you don't, I'm not putting it longer. I take a C clip. And put it on your uh -huh. And again, I do two rubber bands because if one breaks, I have another one, one other one to hold me up, but I don't think that will happen because I have really loose rubber bands or tight. Well, you can call them tight, you can call them loose, but you know what I'm talking about. You're like, and this is how you make the punching glove. You know what I'm talking about, though. Like, that's how you make the punching glove. If you like this video, comment below and subscribe to my channel, Rainbow Loom. Bye!